So in the session that I led with the high school students today in the RSE's discussion forum, um, I asked them the question was how biomedical and specifically biomechanical analysis of movement could potentially be useful for parkour and dance. So the questions that I asked them were just to split into two subgroups and one subgroup was considering dance, the other was considering parkour, and they should think of some skill within that sport that they probably one that they had done in the practical session today. Think of a skill, then break that skill down into discrete events or aspects of that skill. Then consider what might contribute to performing that skill badly. Um, for instance, landing from a drop jump off of a wall, not bending your knees would not be a good thing. So I then got one of the students to demonstrate a bad jump and their colleagues would look at them and observe that and say, okay, we need to reduce the force in your knee, reduce the force in your hip, reduce the force in your ankles. How are we going to achieve that reduction in force? Bend your legs. Are you going to bend your legs quickly or slowly or just in the middle, the Goldilocks zone? So we work through with a sort of physical demonstration of different sporting activities so that the pupils could identify potentially um, poor aspects of a skill and then identify the movement patterns which would permit them to improve their ability in that skill. In combination with the practical aspect and working with their colleagues, I did provide some reading material. Um, so the students would go through the reading material and try to pull out buzzwords and keywords. Um, so there was, a, there was a small element of research methodology and being able to, in a very short time, distill the really important information from what is probably reasonably advanced um, documentation and material. So there's a bit of research methodology, data reduction. Because it's biomechanics, I invited them to talk about numbers if they wanted to. I gave them some examples of what we might expect forces to be in normal walking and they could try and um, elaborate on that. So there's a bit of numeracy, a bit of research methodology, a bit of team working, working to a timeline as well. It was quite a ske tightly scheduled event. And then also um, composing and delivering a presentation, which they did to the rest of their colleagues at the end of the session. Mm -hmm.